Morning guys, Friday, bit of a rain day at the moment. Got a big storm brewing. So we're spending the morning taking the uh, pressure washer to go get a bit of a fix. Go get it checked out, stop working on the last job we we're at. So we're gonna go drop it off, let them sort it out, find out what's wrong with it. And then um, essentially gonna go buy some more tools at um, Technique in Tullamarine. So off to the bricky shop to, uh, to do a bit of running around today, get some stuff that I need, and potentially look at getting some more cement and supplies. It's just starting to spit down rain now, but uh, come lunchtime today, it's going to be really coming down. So I decided to just tell the boys to have a sleep in this Friday, have a long weekend. Pretty uh, happy with the first two days we had at the job. Um, and yeah, just like I said, going to spend today doing the run around and, and I'll take his with me, have a look at the bricky shop, see what's on the place, see if we can get any deals. So let's get into it. All right, so we're just pulling up into uh, Technique Solutions. So as you walk in, you see the nice range of uh, cement mixes and wheelbarrows. So I was thinking about going with the Philco wheelbarrow that I got with, um, along with my Philco mixer. But I, while I was out here, I thought it was about time that we just got a new one because we're pushing around this crappy thing at the moment. It's about to fall apart. So I picked up one of these uh, brick storm ones. When it comes to this drum, I was thinking about getting it. We didn't have enough room in the ute to, to actually take it along. Let me know if you are using a water drum as opposed to uh, to a hose on side as well. But I didn't end up getting one of them today. So as you walk down the second aisle, they have a heap of um, like hoses, uh, taps, tap fittings. They have knives and uh, gauge tapes and all that sort of stuff. So here's me with the gauge tape. Uh, I was thinking about getting another one, but uh, while the other one's working, I just decided to, uh, to keep the one. So this got a couple of various um, knives and uh, uh, retractable knives and pliers and whatever. So I didn't need any more of them. I've got plenty in the in the in the car. So they got staplers, as you can see, grease guns, um, all that sort of stuff. Some spray cans as well for marking your AJs and whatnot. Mortar gun as well, as you'll see. Uh, $105 for the mortar gun seemed a bit ste steep for me. Um, I don't know if anyone actually used a mortar gun, let me know. Uh, Multi-purpose viper, this is what I actually picked up today. Uh, it just removes all that build-up of mortar and stuff on windows. Uh, it's to keep your clean tools, uh, your tools clean, rather, yourself. Um, same with your mixer, uh, you can put it in uh, on, your u on your trail, anything to keep that clean. Soft brushes, got the hard, hard uh, bristle brush, soft brush, we actually decided from now on that we're not going to brush our work and rejoin we're just doing a scrape at the end of the day so we didn't end up getting any of them and they got a fair um, fair stack of uh, trowels all different types of brands and stuff so this was a Thai Zach I'd never heard of this one before uh, the W Rose which is obviously really popular for $120 the leather handles are all sold out um, got a Marshalltown London which is what I actually picked up for 105, they also got the square mouth ones as, and the Philadelphia's, um, which was the first trail I ever used, I ever bought. But I just found that they're too big, so um, I've stuck with the London. I've got the this one's a setter, I don't know, setter 12 inch. I don't know, haven't seen that one before, but it's the W Rose as well, um, which is also another really popular one that I haven't actually used before. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys rate highly. So they've got their fair <coughs> share of um, trowels. Got this plastic grip also. Along with some of the, so the pricing on there. It's bloody expensive now. $100 a pop for a new trowel. Tyzak, $90. Soft grips. As you can see. I've never been a big fan of the leather. I have tried them before, but coming over to the bolsters, they've got their plenty of selections there. They've got bigger, big ones, smallish bolsters. They also have plug chisels and other types, which I've already got, so I didn't bother getting any any more. I got a brand new one that I got not too long ago, actually. I've got an ox plug chisel, and I've got an ox. Um, bolster as well. Now these we've been looking for for ages. I know a lot of guys are talking about them. 
uh, the magnets for your for your trowel. So I picked up one of those. Got a couple of them pins, the square Dutch pins. Got the um, English pins as well. BT Engineering. Got some spikes. They got everything you could possibly think of for clamps and all that sort of stuff. Got the half brick perpy followed by the full brick perpy inside out reverse perp clamps as well all type of clamps got rubber corner blocks there and of course my favorite tool steer the dory block long sided to put on the externals of your profiles and keep the edges nice and sharp and of course they got brick hammers plenty of brick hammers as well to choose from plum brick hammers as if I've never seen that brand before um, gain gain techs which I've had a couple of um, ox of course got a heap of selections to choose from East Wing and my favourites the Vaughan Vaughan hammer which I've I've still got the same one as I, I picked up when I first started three years ago and I just find this one's the best a bit, bit more pricey but um, but worth it durable pick up I've got four of the drum lids from order boards Picked up New Marshalltown, London. It was a 12 inch, and I did get the, the magnet with it as well to chuck on the, the belt. So finally, I've been thinking about getting this for a while, so. Um, got a bucket, what's inside? Got a pack of gloves, got a couple of the long sided dories, steel corner blocks, which is my favourite. I've also got this to try out for the first time, which is a multi-purpose uh, solution to keep all the things clean, all the tools and stuff like that, free of mortar. Um, got a line, a couple of pencils, and we also got the blades um, for the for the Arbitec. So they've been rusting out, same with the tool, uh, the belt for the Arbitec, so extras there. And plus, of course, we've got a, the wheelbarrow, which it's been well overdue, we've been pushing around this crap thing that's almost about to fall apart, so. We've got a, a square barrow that's um, a brick storm, which is meant to be of good quality. So I'm going to try this out. It was a good, successful day at uh, Technique and um, ready to use some uh, some new tools. <laughs>